Hi, it's Elaine with simply-healthy.com and thank you for watching today. So I have a couple questions for you. Do you like to eat out for dinner or lunch or breakfast or whatever? Okay, I'm raising my hand too. Um, how many times are you eating out during the week? Okay, I'm sure we got a lot of different answers there. So here's a, a little secret. If you really want to um, eat in a way that's going to best support your body, okay, we're talking about keeping your immune system built up, keeping you energized, keeping you healthy. It's going to be necessary to eat at home, okay? Now, I am the first person I'd love to eat local, go to local restaurants and try new food, and um, I, it's, a, it's entertainment for me, but I have learned that in order to really achieve and maintain what I want health-wise, I got to eat at home. So today I'm going to talk to you about meal planning, that all-important thing that we kind of get lost in because we have such busy schedules as well. But there are a few ways to make it um, easier for you so that you know exactly what you're putting in your mouth, in your body. Okay, I'm going to share with you four or five things today um, that, I, that I share with my clients about how to best prepare your meals. So number one is to keep a well-stocked kitchen. Okay, there's nothing worse than going to your kitchen, opening up the refrigerator, and you feel like there's nothing there. So there's a, I have a list that you can access that's your well-stocked kitchen list. Okay, I have one specifically for the season. Okay, so check out that as well. Number two, you want to review websites with recipes that appeal to you. The easiest way that I've found to do this now is via Pinterest. Don't you just love Pinterest? I have a Pinterest channel that you can go on and I put in, um, I've added lots of recipes that I personally used that I would like to try. And you can go there, Pinterest.com slash Simply Healthy 11 and check out my boards and you can get some inspiration via there. But it's very important to be um, in the know about what's out there to eat so that you can know how to prepare simple, quick, and good meals for your family. Number three is to look at the grocery circulars. I'm sure you get these in the mail, okay? You can also set it up to receive it via email. But we can't pass these up because especially if you're working on a budget, and most of us are, you want to be aware of how much you're spending on your food. So in these circulars, I like to go through and see what's on sale, and that kind of helps me decide what I'm going to eat for that week. Okay? This happens to be Deerberg's, one of the stores I visit, local stores I visit. They have a, a larger and growing um, health food aisle, so that's been very helpful. And also, you know, check out the, the produce sections, of course. But it, when you are looking to see what's on sale and then planning your meals, number one, you get more variety that way, and number two, you're going to help save yourself some money. Number three, when it comes to meal planning, is to eat seasonally, and this kind of goes along with going to the grocery store. So when you go to the grocery store, you're going to see some things that are on sale, particularly in produce, in the produce section, and you're going to find that those are going to be things that are in season. So if you eat what's in season, you're going to have something different to eat every three to four months, all right? Just about the time you're getting tired of it, it's there's something new that's coming out. So eating seasonally is another great way to think about um, meal planning. And last but not least, keep track of the recipes and the foods that you eat that you like and make them again, okay? How many times have you made a dish and just loved it? and then you don't make it ever again or you know not until somebody asks for it later well how about keep putting that in rotation if it tastes good you know you liked it why not put every couple weeks you know you're going to be eating that same meal again and again i've learned to do that and guess what i'm able to eat some delicious meals more often because I, i'm writing down what i'm eating remembering what i'm eating so those are just a few ways to kind of um, plan your meals. Now, take a look at this picture. Okay, this was done by a personal trainer friend of mine, 
This is what he does week in and week out in order to plan his meals. He actually prepares different foods. As you can see some ground beef there and um, some other things. So that all he has to do is choose. Pick and choose what he wants that night or for lunch. Throws it all together, maybe warms it up in a pan, and voila, it's done. So if you can pre-prepare some things, like take a Sunday afternoon or evening and really get some things um, already cooked, so then you can just throw it together in your meals during the week. I have a secret for you. One of my biggest challenges when I was considering <laughs> improving my diet, I actually considered it in a, in a way, was I, I was like, I, I need variety in what I eat. You know, I can't just be stuck eating the same things day in and day out. I, that wouldn't last. So, um, being able to have a variety of different ingredients already prepared that you can just throw together helps that variety for you. Okay? So, um, just consider those four or five things. And if you have any questions, give me an uh, email at elaine at simply-healthy.com. And by the way, I do have spots available in my six-month coaching program. And during that time, you and I work together one-on-one, -on -one, helping to improve the food that you eat specific to your unique body. We talk about changing your mindset around food, which is probably the most important part. And number three, I help you achieve those all-important health goals that you want to achieve. So for more details on that, go to Elaine, go to simply-healthy.com slash health-coaching. Okay, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.